What are we at now? Uh, 54. Ooh. Now it's in the 30s. Ooh, that's definitely him. Yeah, he's got white eyes. Faint beeping in the background from one of my rods being taken. Ooh! See? <laughs> it tells me before you even catch it. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Top notch. How's it going everyone? Bo here from BZ Hub and we're gonna be playing Fishing Planet today, Emerald Lake, and uh, and lucky for me, I'm joined by two awesome people um, who won the, uh, well, I don't know, is winning if you're drawn for something that's winning, I guess? I don't know. I don't know how this works, but hey, they won the 100th giveaway one-on-one -on -one fish, well, two-on-one, -on -one, I guess, fishing extravaganza interview type deal and this is a this is a first time kind of thing so I'm kind of excited about it but we're gonna be fishing Emerald Lake gonna be fishing for some walleye and whatever else we can uh, catch here so uh, yeah anyway let's uh, introduce the two here uh, we have Carly and Derek say say hello hello Carly hello. this is exactly how you look in oh you disappeared this is exactly how you look in real life too this is awesome. <laughs> Here we go. I have to turn on the player models in close range. That way we can keep an eye on you. Derek keeps disappearing. I don't know what's going on with him. Where is he going? Where is he? I don't know where he is. There you are. Goodness gracious. <laughs> you were gone for a second. There he is. <laughs> this is this is the spitting image of Derek. You both have your night your uh, night uh, lights on your hats and everything. Very cool. How many fish did you have to catch to get those? I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. E I don't either. I was hoping you both knew because people ask me all the time and I don't remember. So, <laughs> so there we go. Top notch. I have this giant boat. I need to move over here because it's super annoying. Um, but otherwise, we're gonna start fishing. I have some interview questions. I'm excited to uh, move the boat and then uh, ask some questions. We're just gonna. Back it away over here. <laughs> all right, all done. Can I get on to shore? I can. Top notch. <laughs> Good deal. So let's uh, let's catch some fish. I have to set up all my stuff now. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you moving that boat literally made my whole day. <laughs> <laughs> you can only see the boat when you're in it. Oh really? I'm I'm a I'm a go it's a ghost driving the boat. Yeah. Every time I think of ghosts now, I just get more and more excited about <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> Playing some some scary games. Hopefully, I can get my brother involved. I'm I'm very excited about it. <sighs> da, 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 da. Get these out here. Does his Start girlfriend casting. go visit him every weekend, or do they live together out there? Well, the, she's she's visiting him every every so often. Uh, mm -hmm. t this weekend, he's he traveled down to here from St. Louis to Kansas City to help her move into a new apartment. So I got to see oh, him wow. for like half an hour. It was cool, <laughs> and then uh, and then he was gone again. But he uh, he should be back in August, I think. So so yeah, that'd be that'd be pretty neat. Ooh, got one! Look at that. <laughs> Easy pe- oh no. <laughs> Got dogs, dogs going on. Nice fish, 3.5 on the dot, doing a little diddle, I like it. <laughs> Let's see if I can pull one in here. I love, the love the, the walleye fishing is, uh, I always say it's like kind of your first break into, uh, into enjoying fishing planet. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. When, when, when we first came up here, I, that was usually like the most fish I think that we've ever caught in a row. Like one after another. Yeah, Something. which made it nice. There, yeah, I got one on. Well, yeah. Everyone always asks, you know, if they're around ten, you know, ten, twelve, whatever it may be, where should I go? And I always say, yeah, Emerald Lake. But that yeah. doesn't even a walleye. She's Louise. <laughs> We got a trophy yellow perch though. That's all Look right. That. Got a little humpback. Derek's over here just catching a walleye after walleye. That's okay. 
<laughs> I have done nothing. Ah, uh, what are you using? Um, I use purple and arrow spoons. See, that's what I'm using too. So, okay. All right. Well, let's see. So we have we have your names down. Everyone knows your names. Where where are you from? Um, we're from a small town in central Pennsylvania. Central Pennsylvania. Very cool. Very cool. What's uh what's a fun thing to do around there? Look at cows. <laughs> Play <Yeah>. video games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go to your nearest Walmart. Yeah, there you go. We have yeah. sheep here. Sheep? Hey, what a sheep. Time for pain. Sheets. Like the competition to Wawa. The gas I, station. I I don't know anything about what you're saying right now. What what <laughs> explain please? Wawa is a gas station? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I thought Wawa was on like the west coast mainly. No? Where are they? Wawa would be more east. Really? No. Oh. <laughs> I guess we have both sheets and Wawa over here. Wow. And they're nice places? <laughs> um, but yeah, the sheets distribution center is in our small little town. Well, heck. That's pretty cool. Got, got a good uh, s s staple to keep people around. Pretty much. <laughs> Used to be the railroad. Now it's distribution yeah. centers. <laughs> All right, we got something on. Got something on. Oh gosh, now we got something on the beeper too. Everyone loves listening to the beeper anyway, so. <laughs> Come on, the walleye. 2.346. Uh, there we go, he's on. Top notch. Well, I guess I could throw in that, uh, yeah. For, for any of you, uh, watching and, and wanting to do a similar setup i don't believe you actually get a stand you might i'm not sure uh i don't believe you get a sand that you can put on a dock for a while i think a lot of them are like stakes that you like put in the ground yeah what do you think early on especially when with like a bell or like a oh, paper. yeah yeah because i mean yeah you have to use bells as well to uh to actually know if you have a fish on as well so yeah if you were wanting to do something similar to this with a feeder rod like i've got and the minnows and the number one hook or whatever you want to use you might have to actually stake it in the ground over there derek's got another one you catching you catching some harley no <laughs> am i missing i i feel like i must be missing him or something but i haven't even gotten a single bite yet oh what's what speed are you reeling in what what uh um, I do the third speed, and then okay. I do stop and go. Sure. All right. So I'm doing a little bit of... I tried the two speed, but then it got stuck on the bottom, and then I switched to three speed just to just to bring it up faster, and it... They seem to both do all right, so... Whoever mentioned that twitching in... I think it was Falcon Lake, that really helped us. Yeah. At least me with that big fish. I so whenever I uh, whenever I'm not having good luck with spoons, I'll I'll switch from stop and go to twitching, and sometimes yeah, definitely really makes a difference. Oh golly. Ooh. Okay. Well, while I'm reeling this fish in, we can say uh, what what do you do? What do you do during the week? Um, I'm currently doing an internship as a family-based therapist so I have a team and we go to people's houses and just try to do relational therapy with them it sounds like an important job definitely especially now yeah especially now what, what With, of, like, with COVID and, like, yeah. mental health has been getting worse with that. So, definitely a lot of people needed in that field. Yeah, I understand that. There's one thing I picked up from uh, Bo Burnham's new comedy special. It's that mental health this past year. Jeffrey Bezos. Oh. 
I still need to watch that. It seems oh. like it's really good. Yeah. So it may not be apparent to anyone who watches my videos or anything, but uh, my family will tell you that I get fixated on things, almost like a stalkerish level. <laughs> and uh, I think I've watched his special probably. I don't know, close to 10 times now. And I, I just listen, I just listen to his Spotify during the day as mm -hmm. well. I just, Bo Burnham, I'm telling you. He's like the, it's like the Spielberg of our generation. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna do some amazing stuff someday, I feel. We're just gonna have to wait. He made a movie called Eighth Grade that like, captured what it's like to be an awkward teenager in eighth grade and uh my my wife and i watched it and we were just like oh my god this is so cringy like i feel like i'm going through eighth grade again and uh yeah anyway got like a 97 percent on rotten tomatoes and he made it when he was like 28 or something so wow exactly and i'm like a year away from that and i'm like well i gotta get to work because i gotta make a movie and stuff. you gotta get to work you yeah. <laughs> i gotta catch up to him what uh so what so what are your hobbies i guess if if movies are kind of meh what what uh, what do you like to do if you have some spare time um, we both like video games that's typically what we do every evening nothing um, wrong with that i do resin art i like photography okay i like photography too Good. Ooh. <laughs> Work's Work. not a hobby. <laughs> Work like hell and fish. <laughs> <laughs> hey, not much better than fishing. I mean, come on. Got first trophy walleye, top notch. There's 600 bucks. Um, yeah. Well, cool. I mean, so so what? Do you do cooperative games, or do you just watch one another like play, or what? What uh, what do you do? Um. Yeah, we try to do co-op games. Yeah. As much as we can. Sure. He he can play games by himself, but I'm not really a fan of that. Oh. Uh, I like playing with other people. Sure. Okay. That's uh that's kind of how my brother is. He is he has never finished a single player game. I just think that's amazing because I I don't know like those are some of my favorite games. Thinking back, but and it's I don't just. Think I finished Borderlands Three. Oh, you finished no. Borderlands Three? Derek and his friend finished it without me. I don't think I ever finished it. <laughs> Jeez. Well, I've been playing games since I was like eight months old. <laughs> yeah, right? I see now that's funny because. The fish just flew out. The <laughs> fish flew out? Yeah, yeah I, I, was, I was like catching it and it just like blew up in the air and like I didn't have it. It just flew right past me. <laughs> well, so did it get off your hook or did you keep it? It got off my hook. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Probably laying back there in the weeds or something. Yeah, that's right, just slowly dying. That's a that's one of those things. Uh first off, it was Rocky Lake, how they like rock it off of that rock that's over yes. there. That's <laughs> that, that boulder like a giant <laughs> ramp or something. Um and then uh then the next time I really noticed it was Kanique Creek. Those fish beach themselves on the creek all the time. <laughs> so it's I have another fun one. Are you using a narrow spoon as well, Derek? I have a medium spoon on. Oh, you're using a medium spoon. What size of hook is that? Uh, number three hook. I'm a, I'm, I'm testing. I, I I upgraded from a number one to a number one aught. Now I'm gonna do a number two aught. I, I threw on the number one aught and caught that trophy walleye. I'm gonna see if I can catch one on the number two aught, but it might be too big. We'll just see. The float rod experiment is 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 not going well at the moment. It hasn't caught anything this entire time. All right. So what? So in Fishing Planet, what are your uh, favorite places to fish right now? Um, I've always loved Emerald Lake. Yeah. I just feel it's one of those like points where you can always come back and like grind walleye. Absolutely. That's uh. That's one of the... I see, when I first started playing, my goal was to actually buy the unlimited license on, like, every lake, and then as I unlocked more and more of them, I realized that that was just not going to happen. Yeah. Um, without <laughs> actually paying, like, actual money, so... So, yeah, but Emerald Lake was the last one that I unlocked the advanced license, the unlimited advanced license or whatever. So, so yeah, don't have to buy that anymore. You just need to pay the travel fee. What about you, Derek? Um, mine would be up in St. Croix now doing those pipes. Yeah. yeah That's a like fun one as well. Up there. 
God. What? So what are you using? Oh no, I got another one. Number two odds caught a walleye again. Okay. Uh, what? So what kind of uh, what kind of gear are you using for the pike in Saint Croix? I've always saw crankbaits. Crankbaits usually work, and then it depends on the weather. Okay. For the color and all that, or what? Yep. Yeah. Gotcha. Fishing for walleye here. Uh, this is a pike. This is a chain pickerel. What the heck? Not expect that. All right. Um, got a good one there. 4.64 trophy. Um, yeah, between uh, yeah, the walleye here at Emerald, and then um, maybe the bass at Everglades, and then um, and then the the pike at Saint Croix. Those are those are some really big money makers. So Derek's at Saint Croix right now. Your is this is this the most current lake that you've unlocked? No, I. I'm one level away from St. Croix. Probably one Mad-Eye Buffalo away from unlocking St. Yeah. Croix. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we just had to throw that inside joke in there. Harley has uh, struggled to catch the Mad-Eye Buffalo for a long time, evidently. So maybe once we get through all these interview questions, we'll, we'll make it an inter we'll make it a mission <laughs> to go catch the Mad-Eye. <laughs> What what fish are you looking forward to catching in the future? The Mad Eye Buffalo. <laughs> that's that's a good one. <laughs> what about you, Derek? Uh, I want to say I want to go up and I want to catch some salmon eventually. Oh yeah, get a good uh, Chinook, good good old yeah. King Salmon and in, in Kneek Creek. Yeah. You know, that's such an overlooked spot, and I even know people who go there and say that they don't like it, but it's a, uh, it is fun, and the Chinook are big, like, they're big fish. Well, cool. Have you caught all the, uh, the monster fish from Halloween? Well, I guess you I haven't, because you can't caught. travel to a lot of them. What's the last ones you've caught? Would be the one up in St. Croix, I think was the last one I caught on that Gollum board. Yeah, the musky Gollum? Yeah. Yeah. How was that? Did you catch him in a, in a boat or how'd you do it? Well, I struggled at first on land forever. <laughs> and then um, I saved up a lot of money and bought a kayak. Yeah. And then that took like, you know, 15 seconds when I first hooked it. Right? Which yeah. didn't make much sense to me, but the boat went right to him when it hooks it. But oh well. Yeah. I'll exactly. <laughs> That that's uh that was one and it was the same way with the darn uh catfish at Quanchkin Lake, where you you spend all this time like creating this intro video and everything and trying to do something creative with the with the Halloween style video and all that, and then you catch the monster fish in like a minute. And yeah. It was like oh. Yeah. <laughs> well yeah. now what am I gonna do? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, that's it everyone. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Like and subscribe. See you next time. <laughs> um, where are, well, I guess this is kind of, you kind of answered this with the salmon, but where are you both looking forward to fishing anywhere in the, in the game? Where, where would you want to go if you could go today? Amazonian maze. Amazonian maze. You thought that looked fun? Yeah, that's a long way away, but. Yeah, I'd no like doubt. to go. Something we could work on. What, what, so what fish in the Amazonian maze did you want to go after? The shark. <laughs> the shark. Yeah. Well, I mean, anything there, really. But yeah, I mean, the shark's like the main eye catcher there. Right. Back to the Amazonian maze. The same with you, Derek, the shark? I, I think so, yeah. Either that or anything over there that can make you a lot of money. Yeah. I'm yeah. That, uh, the, Tira Yira, Triira, Triira. Those, Tri those were freaking crazy, especially when you got yeah. into a unique one. I, it was no, it was twenty four thousand dollars and thirteen thousand experience or something like that. That was insane. What uh? So as far as fishing in real life, what do you go fishing for usually? Probably Lake Erie would be the closest thing like around here where you can do a cast and continuously catch fish. Really? Yeah. So either smallmouth or largemouth up there. Really? Just, hmm? There's walleye up there. There's walleye up there on the lake, yeah. Nicest thing up there is it's just constant, usually, which makes it nice. It makes you want to fish. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. No. But yeah, we have small creeks, or as we call them, cricks, <laughs> that they have like rainbow trout 
Oh, really? Yeah, that's, yeah, so they're that's cold water mainly crystals. it here. There's some stuff around here, but not yeah. as much stuff as I'd like to catch, like, in real life. You know sure. I mean? Yeah. That's uh, one of the big trips I, I want to take soon. See, I was supposed to go down to uh, Oklahoma in the spring to uh, chase after some spoonbill. I thought that would have been really fun, Ooh. but the, the weekend that we were, like, the guy is sending us pictures of, like, 60 and 70, 80 pound spoonbill, and he's like, yeah, you guys need to get down here, and we're like, yeah, <laughs> we'll go, and the weekend that we go, it was, like, the worst storm that Oklahoma had had in the past, like, five years or something like that, and so we just stayed home, we didn't even go, but yeah, my brother and I were gonna go down for that, it, it looked so much fun, but we'll have to try next year, I guess. So if you could go anywhere and catch any fish in the world, what would it be? Where where would you go? Yeah, yeah, big question. Everyone's gonna judge you based on your answer too. Uh, you go, that's, oh, that's what I'm thinking, yeah. That's, that's what he wants to do? <sighs> Can't believe he had a chance to go for anything in the world and he chose that? No. I mean, I don't really know that much about like, different areas and what all fish they have sure but, know, just somewhere new somewhere new that's exactly uh, that that works probably any type of salmon I you want to go after a good sized salmon yeah really nice, nice sized salmon to mound that would be cool I, yeah definitely I uh, yeah because I was watching so recently I've been watching river monsters <laughs> during the day while I work <laughs> And uh, in one of the last episodes, he was up in Alaska and he caught, I don't remember what it was, like a 35 pound king salmon. And that was that was cool because it it was already like a kind of, you know, in its, in its whole breeding state or whatever. And it, it's like mouth had been, you know, curved and stuff to fight or whatever with the teeth and whatnot. So that was really cool. And that's the kind of model that they use in this game too, when it's starting to like change its color and get its kind of beak or whatever they call it. So that's, that would be neat. What about you, Carly? Gonna, gonna just go after a shark or something? Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. say a shark right away. <laughs> <laughs> she got I mean, shark on the mind. The only thing that I've caught was rainbow trout so i, see, I would cool. like to catch a catfish or a you want to catch a catfish yeah. see derek come on you gotta <laughs> up your game yeah you, you could get a catfish for her yeah uh, that's uh <laughs> that's like some of the first dates that my wife and i went on was actually fishing for catfish <laughs> Our first date, we went to McDonald's. <laughs> hey, there you go. Fishing for some fries. That's fine. That's all my interview questions. I don't have any more. So, how how is the how is the walleye fishing? Pretty slow, but I've got some. I have twenty four yeah. pounds. Twenty four pounds. Yep. It's not bad. I must have a must have a monster on right now. I've been fighting this thing for like the past two minutes. It's gonna oh, end up being really small, just a spunky fish. <laughs> Always seems to happen when I'm carp fishing. Is that we'll catch a we'll catch a good like 15 pounder or something, and it will it'll fight a little bit, and then like the next one will be pulling us everywhere, and we get it, and it's like eight pounds. It's just like <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happens there, but please tell me this is a walleye. It's another pike. Sick of you, pike. Should I? Should we? Should we go try and catch the Mad Eye? We can. <laughs> <laughs> we can. I'll I'll fish for uh, spotted bass, and um, and we'll try to. We'll have to set you up. I'll I'll have to. Uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we can do here. <laughs> oh my God! It's a monster. <laughs> Put that on your wall. The golden <laughs> terror. <laughs> um so okay so to give a little backstory now that we're recording again uh carly has never caught the mad eye buffalo has been has been uh, struggling catching this thing for the longest time so we're gonna try to make it make an effort in catching this thing because i'm pretty sure i've had it on but the yeah. line always breaks 
Oh, you gotta set the drag lower. <laughs> set it set it to the very bottom. Well first the first one. And then go up. Then just go up. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> stupid that was a stupid tip, bo. Jeez. <laughs> Nice blue, <laughs> there we go, making our way up. Well, maybe you need to, maybe you need to up your hook size or something. My gosh, you're catching so many small fish. I know. I'm at hook number four. Yeah. There we go. Fish on, fish on. Oh, barley for that small mouth buffalo. Trophy white cropping. This one's a little bit heavier. Oh yeah? Yeah, it took me all the way out to like 140. Ooh. Is it are, is your drag almost maxed? No. No? How much line do you have on your reel? Uh 150. Ooh, so that was close, huh? Yeah. Jeez Louises. What are we at now? I mean went back up a little bit, but now I'm at 95. Ooh. Thank you. This has to be it. There's nothing in here it that does, would pull. Yeah, it the only, <laughs> the only other thing that gets into Lone Star that would pull this much is like a ghost pike or something like that, and those aren't even in here right now. <laughs> I feel like I should be ready with a net or something. <laughs> Get in. That's what I was about to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be doing yeah, something. Yeah, that's a lot of and scared away. <laughs> I just, uh, I'll just be here for motivational support, I guess. What are we at now? Uh, fifty-four. Ooh. Now it's in the 30s. Ooh, that's definitely him. Yeah, he's got wide eyes. Faint beeping in the background from one of my rods being taken. Ooh, see, <laughs> it tells me before you even catch it. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go, 12.87. Nice. We made it happen. I knew we would. I had no doubt in my mind. That is sweet. Man, it looks it looks so much like well defined when someone else is holding it. There's so much <laughs> definition on the on the face. That's interesting. Well, that is uh that is a mad mad eye right there. That's awesome though. Now you can move on. The one fish yeah. you were excited <laughs> to catch. Well, um, cool. So yeah, it's the near at twelve ten. The line weights five to twelve. My reel is the Espira MLR 3500, max drag 13.2. 13.2, okay. Nice. Found that's uh, that's awesome. Well, top notch. Caught some, we caught some walleye. We caught the one fish you were excited to catch, <laughs> wanting to catch, been haunting you, losing sleep over all, all Everybody of it. Everybody makes fun of me for it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but you finally got it. What's what's next? What are you going after next? You got the Pike Slasher in uh, Emerald? This has been really cool, everyone. The Pike Slasher. The Slash Bringing Hasher. The Pike Slinging, Hash Slinging, Crash Slinging Slasher. I don't think so. Oh, that's, that's it. That's the next one. Has to be. <sighs> I don't know, but right on. Well, congrats to you, Carly. Um, I got dogs barking in the background now. This is fantastic. <laughs> they're happy for me. <laughs> they're happy. They're they're barking. Yeah, in celebration. That's their form of clapping, I guess. Well, uh, this has been awesome, you two. Thanks for fishing with me. Um, hopefully. For having us. Yeah, for sure. Hopefully we, we caught some. Yeah, well, I know we caught some good fish because yeah, yeah, we caught <laughs> caught the mad eye and we caught a bunch of walleye. I made a bunch of money, so that's fantastic. Anyway, if you uh, if you found the video helpful or enjoyable in any way, perhaps uh, consider liking it, subscribing if you want to see more uh, videos in the future. Join us on our live streams Monday and Wednesday, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central. I'm sure Carly and Derek are in the chat sometimes, so you can chat with them as well. Uh, celebrities as they are. Uh, but uh, yeah. 
until next time everyone thanks for watching we'll see you next time and uh as always remember everyone we're one planet one family game on